as yes. This is when Dracula shows up. In which he's pretty much like why does he have why does he have an arrow through his chest? Seeing Camila pretty much distraught is putting it very lightly. Devastating is more like it. And she's just holding on to Izuku. She's crying blood. Just wondering why did this have to happen. Then starting to blame herself. But then remembers, oh wait, someone had to shoot this from somewhere. As she starts scanning the arrow, she gets just a whiff and a, a very notable sound of a heart beating very vigorously. As she finds the assailant and wants to know why did he shoot Izuka Midoriya. It was meant for you. But he was a good uh, constellation prize. What? You see, I'm a mercenary. What? Ugh. If anything, I'm going to die anyway. Might as well tell you everything. <clears throat> we were sent here by the bishop to kill as many vampires as possible. But uh, you had a price on your head for all the carnage you caused. I, I, oh, was that Izuku Midoriya? Oh, his bounty was way higher than yours. What are you talking about? You see. <clears throat> After Izuku Midoriya saved the wife of one known as Dracula, of course, and Dracula pretty much let it be known that yes, he was going to unleash utter hell on earth if it wasn't for this boy saving her, it's pretty much safe to say. Mm, yeah, the bishop was not too pleased. People stop going to churches often. He gets uh, side glances, whispers about how he almost killed and sentenced a innocent woman to death. Let alone, actually, yeah, you could say bringing about the destruction of humanity. Oh, yeah. Uh, how much? Hmm? How much was I worth? Oh, you just a minute. Uh, outrageous number. Like, what? All that from my head. But what of him? You said he was worth more. Oh, yes, yes, he was. An even more outrageous number, especially for that time period. He, you, how were you gonna? Oh, you see, I was gonna wait for what? You to leave? If anything, I was running on hiding within the corpses that you left, but oh well. You have to be kidding. Nope. <sighs> you can lay on us. Yeah. If anything, I wasn't going to carry his whole body, if I, you know, just his head. What? Yeah, I was going kill. I don't kill him. We don't we need that head of his anymore. So why not? As yes, Camilla is fuming at this. You can see this murderous aura just start to 
it meant for her very being. And yes, this poor Besher couldn't be more calm. Her being a bit taken aback, like, why aren't you shitting yourself? You really want to know why? Because I know I am going to die. Regardless. Seriously, I just killed someone you clearly cared about. There's no way I'm going to survive. I was ready to die. If by any chance you captured me, which you have, well done. You bastard. Hey, money's money. Everyone has a price, and that seems like a worthy price to me. Is that all you wanted to know? Yes. Well, in that case, why don't we, as, yeah, can we get rips off his head? Yeah, it's just like a Mortal Kombat move. It's beautiful. She is pretty much writhing in pure, adulterated pain, anguish, agony, whatever the hell the word is. Yeah, Camila is feeling it. As in, Dracula shows up. You might want to see this. As they go back to Izuka's body, which it is in the castle. The only thing is, like, why haven't you buried him yet? Given him his rights or whatever. Do, do I look like a priest? I didn't think so. But take a look at this. As yes. Though Izuku is not moving, something odd is happening with his body as Mila Upon touching it, she gets a shock of red electricity. Her wondering, okay, what's going on? And then there's sparks of green, then red, then black. She's wondering, wait, what? I, I don't understand. Yellow, purple. It's starting to, okay, this is weird. Is he going to explode or something? No. Something else. I can't explain it. Wait. Yes, yes, that should make sense. What? You cried over his corpse. Yes, and? For some reason, he's... N Something's different here. What are you trying to say? I can't really explain it, but it's like you jump started his heart or something. What? Listen, listen to his heartbeat. He doesn't have, as in, a faint heartbeat can be heard. Camila's looking astonished, and like, how is he still alive? I think you turn him into a vampire. What? But I... I didn't mean... Oh no. I... Are you serious? I'm afraid so. But at the very least... Hmm. This arrow he was pierced with was not your ordinary arrow. He was blessed, anointed, for in holy silver and quenched in holy water. Which would explain why he's in such a state. Hmm, yes. It would affect any of us in a matter of ways. Sees his way is just a matter of stasis after getting skewered. I mean, then again, 
he did have that arrow within his body as you bled upon him. So, I reanimated him through my blood? That, that we can do that? Well, it may not be just your blood that causes this phenomenon. Chances are he was clinging to life and trying his best to heal himself, similar to what he did when you stabbed him with your claws. His mind has gone to a more... Hmm, how am I say this? Hibernation-esque state. While it heals the extensive damage in which he needs full concentration considering where he was pierced. Not to mention your blood starting to seep through his wound through the arrow. This caused it to be even more difficult for him to actually power through in which he has so I, I was crying, I, I was, I, hmm, let, let me just say it like this, you proved how much you loved him, With the way you were during his uh, presumed demise. So he's going to live, so to speak, it'll be one of us, so I guess he will become a, a, a vampire, and you truly won't have any humans to trust, that's not true, look at Amelia, I trust her, my king. And no matter how much Izuku changes, he's still the same person. That's quite wishful thinking. I am very proud of you, to say the least. Really? Oh, yes. You've grown over all this time. <sighs> It's a real improvement, of which I cannot deny is refreshing. As yes, you can imagine, Camila wants to hug Izuku to death, but she's like, okay, I got patience. I need the patience. That's all I need. I gotta be patient and wait for him to fully heal. And... Huh. I guess it's gonna be a bit different when he becomes one of us. Fully. Yes. I believe so. Will he... Uh... Go on. Say it. No, nothing. It's never mind. Don't, don't worry about it. Hmm. Alright. I guess. As yes, it goes to at least two weeks before Izuku wakes back up, in which he feels good. He's like, oh, man, it's like I. Yeah. Hmm? Seeing Camila just right there, sleep by his bedside, just wondering, did something happen? Oh, uh, upon which she does actually. <laughs> Scream at the top of our lungs in pure joy, kissing Izuku over and over again. When Dracula shows up, he's more than overjoyed to see that yay, Izuku is alive, as well as hmm, fully healed. Uh, what happened? Oh, long story short, you're a vampire now. What? But how did you know? 
Oh, no, no, this was not me. This was not my doing. Is you looking at Camila? You did this to me? I, I, I am so sorry. Really? So, I, yes. Huh. Well, I'll be damned. Alright. As he does walk straight toward the window, it is a lot of sunlight in which it doesn't affect him whatsoever. It's like, wait, what's going on here? Why aren't you burning? Does it does it at least irritate your skin or like no. Excuse me? It doesn't? Is it like a uh, Catch! He's just kept catching a bl a knife by the blade and he's like, Oh, it's kind of warm. It's a, that's silver. How is it not hurting you more? He's just dropping in. Like, I don't know. Uh. <sighs> okay. So, sunlight doesn't hurt you. As it seems. Okay. Silver is more like an inconvenience, which you could possibly overpower. Yes. <sighs> okay. Not too much if we got fire breathing. Uh. Mm, yeah. Yeah, we do have that. Hmm. What about shape shifting? Can you do that? I, 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 I don't want to. Hmm. Okay. So, you want to get more acquainted to your more hmm, monstrous side? Uh, as much as I would love that, it's. I really need to process this. Are you mad? What? Uh, you're mad, aren't you? It's like, well, mad, but mad? Mad for what? I took away your humanity. From what I heard, it was an accident. You were just mourning me. Kind of weird, considering I wasn't dead. Technically dead, but not dead. But <sighs> Oh, man, so many things are confusing here. <sighs> You tell me. But if anything, let me think. I do believe we should possibly inform your classmates of your current situation. What? Yes. But why? Don't you think it will be. You know. Oh. Yeah. Mm. If you do find a way home, don't you think it would be very weird about your old new powers thing? Go ahead and say you're fired. I'm pretty sure people have warmed up to us. You, you wouldn't be saying that if you knew something the movie they they created around the vampire menace. It, okay. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. If anything, good luck. And the voices in my head are being weird now. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. It's just uh, I might be going crazy. Oh, well, uh, not until after dinner, please. <sighs> so, um, how did your class take it? Well, turns out 
vampires are popular where I'm from. At least when I'm from. Oh, really? Yeah. Seriously. I mean, heck, with the eyeballs of me not having as many weaknesses as you guys do, it's definitely a plus. Well, that's great news. So, no one freaked out or anything? No, 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 in particular, no. I mean, heck, they were kind of surprised I still got a heartbeat, but one thing I don't understand is why aren't I like you? Actually, I may have. Uh, what? Well, it's. It's ridiculous, uh, can't be more ridiculous than me becoming a day-walking vampire. <laughs> well, um, <clears throat> my theory is that somehow you were able to keep your soul. What? Yes, as you know, us vampires, upon being turned, created, or whatever, wherever have you, our souls are forfeit, gone. But for some reason, once you made your transition into one of us, you got to keep yours. Really? Yes. That's quite fascinating. Huh. You really think so, huh? Well, this is still just a theory of mine. But how will that be possible? Hmm. Several ways, actually. Like, is, do you have an item or something that would be able to store souls? Or spirits or essences? Within yourself? No, I don't see. As Izuku realizes, wait, one for all. I'm the ninth user, and it's not just my soul that's in here. At least, my very being. Oh my. As he, in his mind, is thinking not only the messages of one for all, but also all my. Like, oh my god, if it wasn't for all my giving you this quirk, I would have possibly not even been in this situation, but still, I'm taking the win. So, what else can we do? Is Dracula is pretty much like, maybe you should go see how Camilla's doing. Right. Uh. Well, about that, is there something wrong? N no, not exactly, it's just that, my boy, you might as well tell me. <sighs> She's pregnant. What? Wait, how would you... Well, she's been kind of different lately. More quick to anger, mood swings. One time she's happy, another time she's like, get the hell out before I skewer you. That just sounds like playing on Camilla. I heard a heartbeat. Yep, yep, that'll do it. Wait, but... And again, you have heartbeat, so technically you're a living vampire. Wow. What? Nothing, it's just... Considering the fact that you are technically the only living vampire so far, it is really just now starting to hit me. Could you imagine? Having a soul as a vampire. I mean, you still feel some guilt when it comes to 
killing. Like he did with that bishop. Oh, he's not dead. What? Oh, no, no, no. That's... That's not what, what we decided to do. Me and Camilla thought it would be even more... Hmm... Worse... To leave him alive. What? Haven't you noticed the echoing screams? Oh, so that was him. Oh, yes, he's been begging for God for a long time. <sighs> Seriously, you should have seen the look on his face when he realized I was still alive, so to speak. Hmm. Or at least the head of that uh, bounty hunter. Hmm. Shame. Ball and all. Wow, you have certainly changed, haven't you? Oh, you have no idea. Uh, <sighs> or at least I don't get tired so easy. Oh, yes, yes, oh, that would be a very... Good advantage to me. But, hmm. If anything, have you decided on names for your child? No. No, not, not as yet. Hmm. Pity. So, hey, well, how'd you go with your name for your son? Alucard. Well, as you can just guess, it, it's the reverse of my name. Yeah, but why? Well, for one, he's alive. Okay. Two, he's blonde, like his mother. Well, hers isn't as vibrant as his, but still. I'm more... Distinguished. Well, he can be rather rash, especially when his mother enables him. Well, you can't blame me. No, I cannot. But still, children require discipline. <sighs> Either way. Yes, yes. Our son, his name was pretty much something we thought of on the fly. Hmm. I'll try to put more thought into whether my uh, child will probably like his uh, name. Uh, just don't forget to talk to Camila about it. If you name your child without her, chances are she will get me like a fish, yes. However, you'll probably survive it. <laughs> oh, not to mention, oh, yeah, she'll probably do it over and over again until you apologize to her enough. That's a very good point. And then, Ezra goes talking with his class. He's wondering how he should break the news that he's gonna be a daddy. He's wondering, oh my god, what was a rock gonna do and all this mess? It's pretty. Much... Hmm. Then he's wondering something else. Hey, Tokiyami, I just realized something. What? Your book about Dracula, it, it changed when I got here, right? At least when I started making changes, right? Well, um, yes. Are there any, is there anything else that's changed that you know of? I, hmm. 
Hmm. No, not not really. <gasps> Wait, no changes at all? Well, no. Well, why? Why? Is that significant in any way? Suku leaving, them confused as all hell. It was like, oh my god, what is something on me? There are no vampires here. Excuse me. Despite all things Izuku's doing, there are still no vampires to speak of. I can't recollect any, any vampires, and when it comes to you know books and literature. I researched and I seen all the changes and deviations for what really happened and whatnot. But one thing that reigns true, there are no vampires. Nothing about them in the history books. It's like they didn't even exist. Oh no. As yes, Izuku he runs in. He he bursts down the doors. Pretty much like Camilla, we have to talk. You, me, and our child. We need to get out of here. Tell Dracula that we need to prepare. What? We need to be prepared. Uh, I'm curious. Just tell everyone, including your sisters, that this shit is about to get real. Is it good? You're going to have to explain. Something's going to happen that eradicates all the vampires. Nonsense. Yes, we got to find somewhere to hide. We got to find somewhere to possibly... Do you think? Zuku just vanishes out thin air. Yeah, she's just holding her something. He's like, is he serious? You're serious? Yes. If what you say is true, then yes, that means our species could be eradicated at any moment. We have to get you home. Yes. But first, we need to be prepared for whatever might come our way, even during your absence. What? I'm helping you prepare. Yes, yes, I know that, but, and I'm staying until we both can sleep easier knowing that our children and our spouses are safe. This is not your fight. Oh, yes, it is. But one thing's for sure, we have to know what causes our race to be eradicated. I don't know. It's... If anything, it still boggles my mind that you realize this. Of course. Of course I did. Oh, but still, it's the whole thing about how it happens, because um, could we have been gathered to a certain point in time or something, in which sunlight is bathed, or arrows, holy weapons, or anything? No, no, no. No, that, that wouldn't happen. Holy weapons are hard to come by. Magic, especially. Wait, what are the Belmonts? And the Belmonts are, uh, kind of dead. What? Yeah. You, are you serious? Yep. Belmonts are dead. D-E-A-D. 
Are you sure you spelled that right? Don't judge me. Eh. But yes. Why are they dead? I mean, they are... Beyond what you... Helpful when it comes to fighting forces of evil. Let's just say church, church, brand them savages, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, the bishop was all just raving about it during his weekly torture. Uh, really? Yep. Okay. So, could it have something to do with the Seekers? Oh, yeah, those. Ugh. They're not completely dead, but they, they don't like humans either. Really? Oh, yeah. For some reason, the church is stupid here. Huh. Ah, the Belmont. Weapons, the stronghold has magic weapons. And, uh, they burned that to the ground. I don't think there's anything left from that. What? Yeah. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Oh, my... It, if they did kill my wife, if you didn't save her, oh, my God, what hope would there be for them to survive? At least survive at all. I don't know. I mean, there might be some of those lucky few who actually gain the favor of Seekers or anything, or, heck, maybe they could find some texts or at least a weapon or two from the Belmont's old home, but, uh, Wow. Humans are stupid. Yes. I mean, you said they didn't even believe that you were you, right? One of the craziest things ever. Oh, yeah. That is true. Hmm. Ugh. Now that I think about it, yes. What is... Seriously, how do they hang on to such... Ugh. If we weren't for our weaknesses. Yeah, I know. But then again, what would we eat? You've drunken. Oh, yes. The bishop is like wine to me. He's aged a considerable amount. And his false hope, his faith, mm. it is strong, but I see it start to wither away to nothingness with each passing day every time me, Camila, or us both come for a visit. Mm -mm. Shame. But it's to be expected. Your faith is tested the most when you're at your worst, isn't it? You are quite correct. And yes, you can just imagine his faith has been tested so much. I mean, when you think about it. What? Wait. Can he be in contact with somebody? No, no, I, I don't think so. Who would listen to him? Certainly God wouldn't. I don't know. God hasn't been known to be quite forgiving of his children. True. But that one, yeah, if he said he repented and God believed him, I mean, you can't really fool him. Ugh. Plus, you gotta think about that guy's faith. If it may be withering away, but it's still considerably strong. You're right. So. Wait. I 
I wonder what you may be right about him in contact with someone. If we can find out who uh, he whispers a lot of nonsense to himself. I usually block it out. Well, in this case, why not, hmm, what? Have a little listen. Who knows? You might find something very, uh, interesting. As yes, next time he's about to torture that, that damn bishop for she got what he's deserving the damn anime. But I wish it could have been so much more gruesome. <clears throat> Wait. My name. That name. What? Oh, sounds like he's praying to someone. But this prayer sounds different. That name. I don't know it. Man, I need to learn Latin fast. But at least I know now that my uh, worrisome nature was wrong. Ooh, I'm so happy to be wrong this time. So, what do you find out? Yeah, he's just praying to somebody, but I don't understand the Latin completely. But do you remember precisely what he said? Ah, uh, yes. Blah, blah, blah. This and that and that. Hmm. That's funny. What? It seems like he was just praying to death. Death? Oh, he's praying to die. Is that it? No. Uh, I mean death. Death. What? Death isn't a real person, though. He's, is he? Ah, but he is. What? Death is an actual entity? Correct. Friend, I'm one of the things that make him far more, uh, you could say, happy is when a lot of people die. Yeah, I guess that would please someone such as him. <laughs> but seriously, if anything, if, if you had started a war with humanity, he would have had so many people to... What is it? Oh, bollocks. As Izuku burst down the door and slits the throat of the bishop. Camila walking in saying, don't start without... What did you do? I saved us. That was one of the few pastimes that I enjoy. Besides spending time with you, of course. And... I know. But I think I know who was truly to blame for... Your, you know, Dracula's wife from getting burned at the stake. As Zuku gathers everyone, that like, yep, death. Death is the reason why your wife almost bit the big one. What? Zuku, that sounds completely ludicrous. Is it? Is it really? I mean, why would he interfere? Because of the amount of death you would have spread out throughout the globe. Well, at least in this section of the world. What? Oh, yeah. You would have killed countless people. And demons would have gotten killed countless times. If anything, we are lucky. You, all we can do is really hope that he, he got there in time and he hasn't told death anything too 
damning. Huh. Well, isn't this just a fine how you do? Did you really just... Yes, I did. You've been talking too much to my class. If you start talking like that. But yeah, if I think it means we made it in time. With that crisis aborted, there's only one more thing to do. Tell your class that you're expending a child. Huh? Yes, it's only fair. Well, what about you think I didn't already? Because your voice is changing in volume as well as repetition between your words. <sighs> I don't know how this is going to turn out. It's fine. Uh, believe me. It will be good just to, to what does he say, rip off the band-aid. <sighs> okay. But well, if anything goes sideways, you can blame me all you want. Good. Good. <sighs> so yeah, I'm having a baby. As then he sees Oraka squeezing the life out of Mineta's and he's changing colors from blue to purple matching his quirk Mina she's trying to congratulate Izuku without bringing upon the wrath that is Oraka then Aries like wait so it's kinda like I'm gonna be a big sister precisely yeah Izuku looks at Oraka. Yeah. You know what? I might as well let it be known now. I do like you, Oraka. What? Well, I also like Toga. To an extent, some some about that craziness kind of does it for me, but I'm with Camila, and it's. Gonna be kind of. I don't know how she feels about you guys. I mean, she it took her a while to really get used to me. Let alone, we didn't sure didn't know that we were gonna be a thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. So. <sighs> If anything, I I am gonna uh, I work workshopping some names for my kid. I would like you guys to help me. Really? Hmm. Why not? Why not Toshi? Hmm? Yeah, Toshinori. <laughs> you want me to name him after All Might? Why not? Mm, maybe, maybe. Huh. What about... Mm, hmm. Sato. Oh. Okay, okay, and I'm not hating the names, but keep them coming, keep them coming. As the names keep going over and over and over again. This is when Dracula gets, I mean, with a few vampires. As, yeah, all hell's breaking loose in their territories, so to speak. I mean, these are vampires all throughout the globe that just decided to convene here. Talk to Dracula about certain complications that arose. 
in which he interrupts Izuku's call and very much says, it's already begun. As yes, he hears that there are uprisings against the land of fire. People wanting to go up against them directly. No matter how many die by these vampires' hands, they are overwhelming them with sheer numbers. And when it comes to holy weapons, as well as holy magic and all that sort, yeah, the church is a lot more giving when comes of silver and holy water and blessings all of a sudden. So Izuku realizes he was too late to stop the damn bishop. One thing is, what is he going to be able to do now? And when it comes to the war, it's only just begun. Amelia, she does luckily get sent somewhere safe to a point where no one is going to be able to find her. Dracula, Izuku, Camille, who Izuku did ask, please stay out of this for the sake of the baby. She's like, fuck that shit. I'm fighting whether you want me to or not. And this kid is going to be having a front row seat. As time passes, Camila's nose be getting closer and closer to her due date. Izuku, he's getting more worried, just wanting to finish this war. It's like, wait, is there a way to bring death to us? What? I'm just saying. There might be a way, but there's no one crazy enough to, well, <clears throat> hello, nice to meet you, my name is Crazy. Dracula's like, hell no, you are not doing that. You have a wife and child to worry about. Uh, yes, yes, I know, but, no buts. If we're going to die, we're going to, as in Alucard steps in, hello father, what, uh, what are you doing here boy? Well, look what I just found, as he brings a Belmont and a Seeger like, what is this? The Belmont and the Seeker. They were shacking up one day and I said, Ooh, this is too easy. How much do you think he's a Belmont? His name is Trevor Belmont. It seems as though he's the last one standing, so to speak. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, I knew, I knew it, I knew we should have waited until you're out of this dump. That's what I said to you, but you are the one who wants to get on handsy. <clears throat> that's not, that's not a, get on, that's not just us uh, point fingers to say who's responsible for what, who, who unfastened whose belt. It is your fault. <sighs> so, you are the last of the Belmonts, are, are you? <sighs> yes, and you must be the big bad Dracula, the bad guy. The one who started all this. What? I didn't start any of this. What? Of course you did. <sighs> okay, explain how I'm the cause of this, if you don't mind. Belmont is pretty much saying, yada yada, you 
wage war on the church, and so did all your other little blood suckers, blah blah blah, all a bunch of lies. So that's his game. What? Well, people are already hesitant or at least distrustful of our kind, but when it comes to, you know, waging war, you know what they say. History is written by the winners. And the losers. Oh. We have a lot of weaknesses, but not so many as the humans. But their strengths, like being able to ingest garlic, daylight, holy objects, holy water, and the church finally deciding to be more than just a boys club. Uh. I regret teaching you so many words, as well as letting you listen to any of my classmates. Hmm. It doesn't matter. Let me tell you the real story of what's going on. D death? Yes. Death is the cause of this. Oh, yes, very much so. Pipes up like, okay. One thing I'm curious about: why are you helping the church, or just humanity in general? What do you mean? I fight evil. You are evil. Well, then uh, depends on who you ask. Yeah, think about it. They slaughtered your family, burned your ancestral home to the ground. Yes, they run her people out. Uh, wherever they go, which luckily you guys are more used to the nomad lifestyle, at least by now, I would hope you are. But still, you. Are you sure you're going the right side? I mean, what has humanity done for you lately? Uh. Jared, don't you dare. I'm just saying, he, he's making a good point. Right, right, right now. He's making a good He's making some good points. Maybe, but still, it's... Uh, so what do we do now? You could join us on our fight to... Uh, uh, I never thought I'd say this. Kill death. What? Yeah. You... I... Is he serious? I am afraid so. You can't kill death! If anything, you probably... You, you might be able to... Hmm. What? Huh, do you just so happen to know where my home is? Maybe. Only pay it a little visit.